The subject of grout and sealants is a big topic in ever-changing landscape in the mosaic world. After a brief explanation of just what grout is, I'm going to share Kim and my favorite tips. In this video, we specifically address using polymer fortified sanded grout for your mosaic art projects. We do not recommend using pre-mixed or unsanded grout. Grout is a cement-based mixture. The basic ingredients are Portland cement, sand, and water. Once mixed together, a chemical hardening process begins. It does not dry. It is a chemical process that cures. Safety first, always wear a mask when mixing powdered grout. Okay, we're gonna get ready to grout. I have my grout, which I've uh, separated from its big bag into a user-friendly container. I have a bucket of water for cleaning, a spray bottle for adding to my grout while I'm mixing. I have a used water bottle, always recycle, um, for decanting water when I mix the grout. My grout tools, a sponge, and my mask, and of course, some kind of trowel or mixing implement. Before I start grouting, I like to do a couple of things. I'll check for um, any random piece of thin set that may be stuck onto the top of my tile. And I also run my hand over and just check that I have everything glued down. Because once in a while you dry lay a piece and then you forget to go on back. And so I'll scrape the bits off. And then when I'm done with that, sort of just clean up any loose debris. And uh, then we're ready. People ask me all the time, how much grout do I mix? And the fact is, I don't really know. It's a little bit of experience, a little bit of trial and error. I always try to mix a little too much, but I'm using a pre-colored grout. So if I do run short, it's not that big of a deal to mix another little batch to finish my project. I like to use a disposable container when mixing any grout or thin set so that when I'm finished, I can just toss it. You never want to wash this container out in your sink and let the contents go in because it continues to cure underwater and will get hard and clog your plumbing. When I mix grout, I like to start with a little water in the container first. We always use sanded grout. Using a spray bottle helps us not over water. I think it's important uh, to note that every so often while you're working on a bigger grout project to go back and give your grout a stir because it keeps it from setting up and getting clumpy and it extends your grout session. I really love these mud tools. They were designed for ceramics, but when you're working especially three-dimensionally, it like curves with my fingers and um, they don't wear out. There's a curved side, a flat side. It just really is a great tool for grouting. So I let this grout on this table set up a little more than I usually do. I usually look for it not making a dent with my fingernail. I had this pretty well cleaned off and smooth, so I didn't want to clean it with uh, too early. Or you wipe too much of the grout joints out, and you really want them to be fairly smooth um, on your finished table. And it looks like, uh, for the most part, I'm just going to be able to take this little piece of t-shirt and polish it up and we'll be done. And so you can see just with the t-shirt, this haze is coming off. And that's because this is a glazed tile. If this was unglazed or something a little rougher, uh, you might need to put a little bit more into it to clean it up. Too much water 
makes your grout weak. Really wring as much water out of as possible because we don't want to add more water to our project. We're really just uh, wiping it, getting the excess off, and uh, we're just going to let this set up a little bit and then we'll buff it off. I'm going to try sprinkling these two different grout colors in a few different places, just spreading out with my finger to see how I feel about them, to see if one is better than the other or if I want to do the background a little lighter. So I really think I prefer the background to be the slightly lighter. And I think I prefer mom's face and her outfit and her hair to be a little darker. So that's what we're gonna do. Now that I've got this dry grout in there, I have to get it out, really easy to do. I'll go over by the trash can with a dry paintbrush and just brush this out. Take some blue painter's tape and tape off where I don't want grout to go right now. All right, so I'm gonna all around the edge of her face because I want that to be the background color grout. I'm gonna actually use a dry piece of sponge, go in a circular motion as much as I can, and spread all throughout those interstices. The caution with grout overall is don't be in a hurry to take it off, yet don't be too late to take it off. Taking a nice low profile to pull off the tape. So I grouted the table normally as I normally would do and when I'm almost to the final cleanup I uh, sprinkled some dry grout powder the same color as what I used over the top and it seems what happens is that it works like kind of an abrasive to clean up your tile without really uh, affecting the grout color and without adding additional water. A lot of people ask about sealing the grout. I'm not a big grout sealer. Um, I feel like stains are harder to get out because they get stuck in the sealer rather than just the grout. And uh, it's often just a lot easier to clean it. Also, you gotta worry about food safety and other things depending on your situation. So there's a lot of polymers and other additives in the grout these days that I just really don't feel like it's necessary. Check with your local tile store for your grout and sealant options. They will have the best variety. In North America, many grouts have sealants and UV protectants in them. They cost a bit more, but may be worth the investment. Sealing your grout is labor intensive. You must remove any excess from the tile surface or a dull residue will occur. It may be easier to apply the sealant with a brush, painting it on the grout lines. Do this. We'll start this. We'll just, we'll just hold it like this. And remember, <laughs> life's, life's a mosaic. mosaic. You, you pick, pick the pieces. pieces. I forgot we were saying it together. Okay. Wait a minute. And happy faces. And remember. Life's a mosaic. You pick the pieces. <laughs> <laughs>